and there's marveled at the four-hour natural sky show. As News 12's Nicole Nogid reports, a clear night made for excellent viewing and an excellent learning experience for students at Nassau Community College. It's an eerie and extraordinary event. The first total lunar eclipse since 1989. Long Islanders watch in amazement as the Earth casts a shadow on the moon and the moon disappears into the cold December night. It's the shadow of the Earth that causes the moon to disappear. So the moon is going to move into the shadow of the Earth, and as it does, you can see a round shadow. And that was one of the first proofs that the Earth was round. This particular eclipse is different in that it didn't turn red when it went into totality, which it normally does. And that was supposed to be because of the dust from the volcano from last year, Mount Pinatuba. And they said it was going to be a lot darker, and if you look outside now, you can hardly see it at all. The first total lunar eclipse recorded dates back to 1361 B.C. Folklore has long associated lunar eclipses with evil events. What was known as a bad moon rising was once thought to be the cause of plagues and earthquakes. But in the 90s, the magic comes from watching this natural phenomenon and learning about its causes. It's an unusual event. It doesn't occur that often. So. Most of the time, you just look up the sky, you see the same stars for a couple of days, and this is an event that doesn't happen that often. I was hoping to see the red, the reddish uh, view, but uh, that disappointed me. Being it was my first, it was very exciting, but too bad we didn't see the reddish color. So, maybe next time. A total lunar eclipse only happens once or twice a year, and it cannot always be seen in all parts of the world. So if you miss tonight, stay tuned. Long Islanders can expect to see another one November 28th and November 29th in 1993. In Garden City, Nicole Nogid, News 12, Long Island. Well, Roberto, you were out there watching that. You know, it was cold. It, yeah, it was pretty extreme. Whoa, was it cold out there? Uh -huh. But the thing was amazing. Some of these telescopes look like they cost some, like a Rolls Royce or something. I mean, very, very expensive materials. And many of the individuals that were out there are eclipse chasers. They go different parts of the world just to, mm -hmm. you know, like I go looking for a slice of pizza. You know? Were the solar eclipse or lunar eclipse to Both. They chase? Oh. Both. And they feel, and it's like a very big event. And everyone was happy. It was quite a, a nice feeling, even though it was cold. And everybody had stooped. Kind of, you think they, well, it was amazing. Let's put it that way. The lunar eclipse, ladies and gentlemen, of 1992, over now. And of course, we have to talk about what's going on now 